Hey there, YouTube. We have a few more experiments to check on. So, I've made a few crucibles, uh, cylindrical this time, just because that'll make them a little easier to get out of the microwave, uh, in a couple of different sizes. And uh, we are testing our aluminum uh, test calibration rings, um, but uh, for a few specific things that we want to uh, check out today. We're going to be using uh, two of these smaller crucibles here, and we're going to see if a initial uh, pre-center stage does better than a uh, singular microwave arc stage, uh, you know, by itself. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. Okay, so this is our first crucible here. It's a little oblong. It wasn't supported too much during casting, but that's okay. Um, this one we will be placing a, a standardized uh, heating element which are going to be over there and we're going to be uh, putting that into the 1100 watt microwave and the 900 watt. There is a test calibration ring uh, buried in the ballast there um, and uh, it's going to probably center for uh, anywhere from you know mm, two hours to four hours, uh, just depending on some measurements that I'll be taking. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. This is going to be our pre-center stage to uh, hopefully set the shape. And uh, after that, we will let it cool down and uh, do a microwave arc center. This is our other crucible here, and uh, we will be doing a singular microwave arc center. Um, that should probably be within 6 to 15 minutes sometimes, uh, just depending on if the arcs uh, catch a little early. They're a little unpredictable for me at this moment, um, but it's a visual thing that I sort of watch and take measurements of temperature uh, as it happens. Uh, this one again will still have the arc uh, center process. It's just going to have the, the prior step of uh, pre-center. Uh, again, these were, um, for simplicity, these were debound in a traditional kiln, uh, but uh, they can also be debound in microwaves, as I've demonstrated before. Uh, it's just uh, the timing of things made it easier for me to just debind all three in the regular kiln uh, so that I could set this experiment up uh, in a singular night here. Okay, just like that, uh, we place it in with the lid. Uh, the uh, If you were to take this apart here, you'd see that there is a heating element down in there. Um, I'll get a better shot of one of those uh, after I place this lid back on. Uh, these are our these are our heat susceptors here. Um, they're modular. Something that I've come up with to allow for uh, rapid testing of this setup uh, and is tunable to the amount of silicon carbide that I want uh, in order to get the results I'm looking for. So here we go. We're just going to close this up and we're going to configure a uh, cook time here. Uh, so I'm going to start with 90 minutes good to make sure that we also have good ventilation here. I have a good setup to get that uh, any fumes that might be generated from this process. Um, and I'm going to be using one of our adjustable parameters, which is either time or power level and, and also wattage. So uh, for people unfamiliar with my setup here, I have a 600 watt, 900 watt, and 1100 watt microwave. Um, Controlling the uh, the cycles has been done with um, measurements that I've taken from each, and tuning the uh, the times at which uh, they are in, and the power level, um, and the uh, wattage microwave that I'm using for this process. So, in this case, I know that I'm going to be starting out at, with this microwave at a um, about a 50% uh, power level. So, 50 and I will ramp that up as the cycle continues, uh, but that's where we go. And uh, we'll just monitor this um, and let it cool down when it has been uh, 
has completed. Well, it turns out things get a little spicier over here with this uh, smaller crucible and at least uh, this format. I did change the uh, refractory uh, formula here to try something else. And well, <laughs> it's uh, definitely, definitely got hot. Um, normally this would, uh, would heat up very gradually, um, but with this this crucible it is not the case it's quite hot that's over well over a thousand degrees and was uh, put a very big char mark on my uh, my wool blanket here so lesson learned uh, that was about 30 minutes in the microwave at 50 percent uh, power level and uh, yeah definitely not what was expected here so the test may have uh, change. <laughs>
maybe I'll just I'll just see if uh, if it needs a little bit more time. That was almost a thousand degrees in about five minutes, so I'd say it's probably working. Um, so I'm probably not going to change the process here, but I am going to add um, maybe about mm, five more minutes. Okay, that's very hot. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, after 11, I think, minutes and 30 seconds of microwave, uh, hopefully arc centering that I was uh, shooting for with the aluminum uh, medium, uh, we're up to a very hot temp. Um, I'm going to take this out and I'm going to replace um, the uh, ceramic lid with a an actual lid, um, oxygen from what I can gather um, during the cool down process is uh, something to be avoided. So uh, I'm going to try to uh, devoid that uh, uh, that oxidation with that uh, the lid and uh, hopefully let that cool down and uh, compare the results after a second microwave center for this guy. So there you go. Second crucible here after pre-center is definitely arcing like I expected it to, uh, as you can see. Also, the interesting, <laughs> almost uh, ruby-like um, uh, peel. Uh, so I don't know. I, I can't test it for sure. I don't think uh, just yet. But that's interesting to me with the uh, the blood red. Uh, glaze look uh, from that. That's something new. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm doing a six minute center here. We're on minute five. That's after one minute. We are definitely arcing. Okay, I called it at three minutes uh, remaining, so that would have been about a three and a half minute uh, arc center. Uh, the external of the crucible here is reaching close to 850, 900 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, normally the internal is quite higher than that. I don't want to melt the aluminum, um, but uh, we'll, we'll see what this looks like after uh, both of these two results cool down. Again, to rehash pre-center uh, the standard way, then uh, microwave center only. This uh, this one here was pre-center plus microwave arc center. So we're testing the two differences. We've had some unexpected uh, things happen, but that's what experimentation is all about. So uh, we will see what the results are here shortly. Well, moment of truth. Excited to see the results. I uh, am going to open these up in the order which I started, so we're going to do the uh, compound uh, phase center here, whatever you want to call it, where we did a pre-center step and then a arc center. Uh, after that, I will just open up the uh, regular single uh, stage arc center crucible and see what we have. Uh, this was the interesting uh, result where our element had a bit of, uh, well, <laughs> a good blood red uh, tinge to it over there. Um, don't know uh, any more specifics on that, but that's what we will do, and uh, we'll see if we can compare the two.
Alright, so we had a lot more uh, difficulty trying to remove the parts. Uh, there seems to be a uh, quite a bit of... Um, well, I'm not sure what you'd call it, but uh, build up or um, something. <laughs> Uh, it's uh, definitely centering uh, the ballast um, or the crucible. Um, it resembles either, uh, so, so these are alumina crucibles, so logically it potentially could be uh, some sapphire of, of some sort with some uh, contaminants being uh, sucked in. Uh, not, not too sure yet. Um, but it's definitely causing a, uh, a buildup there around the edges. And as you can see here with the, uh, the centered part, see the red tinge and the, uh, the shimmer. That's uh, the ballast forming a, uh, well, just really densifying around the uh, aluminum part. I had to break this open with a hammer. Uh, that was the only way to get this apart. It's very hard. I, uh, just so that you could see it. I polished uh, with a rotary just a little bit of the, uh, I don't know if you can see this in this light here, but Definitely, um, definitely aluminum. Uh, it's just almost impossible to uh, to free it from this uh, densified uh, densified ballast here. So, um, concluding the test tonight, but um, certainly going to be looking at some uh, next steps perhaps uh, some different ballasts um, yeah we'll see anyway see ya